Hey, yo, what's up? You know what it is. It's the one and the only the Triple the G-O-D. And, of course, I'd like to welcome you guys back to another installment of the Triple the Guys Be Something. Yo, I just got finished, man, going through the first three seasons of Veronica Mars, and I'm like, I get it. I get why the internet go dumb for Veronica Mars, because for years, I heard nothing but wonderful things about Veronica Mars that... It's one of the greatest shows ever. It's a show you should watch. It's a show that was so good. It was a show that was cut down way too early in its prime. And then you sit up here and you watch it. And then you realize why the why the Kickstarter did such dumb numbers. And how, how since then the franchise has been reinvented in a way that makes sense for the franchise. Here's the thing though. Here's the thing. Is when I think about my history... You know what I'm saying? When this show came out in 2004, I stood up here and think about where my head at was, was at no four. I wouldn't be able to appreciate a show like Veronica Mars then because, again, more of my history is that, yo, it wasn't until after the boss died that I start, you know, start trying to embrace more things and, you know, start trying to, you know, and do new stuff because it's like, it was around that time when, you know, then when I really thought about really getting serious about watching Sentai and, you know, ultimately how I got into Kamen Rider and then went back into Sentai through that because of the um, of the Kamen Rider game. So, you know, about all that. And it was like at that point at the same time, one of the shows that I picked up early on, you know what I'm saying, when I was trying to, you know, trying to diversify was Burn Notice. And that's a great show you guys should watch too. Veronica Mars, though. Again. This is not a show that I could appreciate and have a love for back in 04 during this run. It just, it's just, I knew me back then. I couldn't do it. But this is coming from the same person who was in 8th grade watching Dawson Creek because all the kids in the school was watching Dawson Creek. And that's not a reason to do anything. That's not taking away that Dawson Creek is a good show, but point with standard. Look. The reason you should watch Veronica Mars is simple. Veronica Mars is a show that doesn't pull punches, that gets you engaged with what's going on, with lovable and memorable characters and mysteries that you want to solve. Because, yo, everything was cool, but the murder mystery stuff is what got me involved. The little mysteries that Veronica was solved that led into the overarching mysteries of what was going on. And the show delivered on that every time. Because as, as somebody who sat here and watched it. Was I'm sitting up here trying to solve the case. I solved the big cases. Along with Veronica. And the little ones too. Trying to sit up here. And take everything that Veronica has figured out. And trying to put together who's who. Sometimes you get it right. Sometimes you get it wrong. But especially when it came to like the major arc stuff. Where it would be like. The show points you in this direction, but then when I see the finale come, ooh, there's a sharp left and a punch to the gut because you never expected that was who did it. And that's what shows should do. That when shows that intrigue you like that, is that I bet you that it was people who started watching Veronica Mars just on bullshit because it was a new show on UPN or whatever who ended up ultimately getting into more shows like Veronica Mars. And, yo, shout out to Rob Thomas, man, you know what I'm saying, for, for doing this thing, you know what I'm saying, because what I'm trying to do as part of this social experiment, because I have, as of right now, I have not yet watched the movie, because I wanted to sit up here and I wanted to take this social experiment where I wanted to give myself a time to digest what it was that I saw, because, again, this is another fast lane example. You know what I'm saying? Where, or the Secret Circle, because you can't say Young Justice anymore, because that's coming back in a minute, is a show that was cut down in its prime that had what it took to go. Because this was a show that demonstrated growth with characters and all that, and I want to see these characters continue continue to grow. And I think that's what the movie is going to bring. I'm not sitting up here trying to put too much pressure on the movie to be something that it may not be what I see and the novels that have since came that I want to read after that because when I sit up here and think about how I ended up on this little trick was I was sitting downstairs I was sitting downstairs flicking through the channels and I'm like ooh the pilot to Veronica Mars is on I've heard wonderful stuff about this show for years and years and years and years and years and years and years, and years. 
yo, I'll sit down here and watch this pilot. I'll give it an honest look and an honest shot. And I fell in love with the show instantly. I ran upstairs as soon as that episode went off, went in all the, all the DVDs. But you know me, I'm lazy as hell. So it took me forever to get through. And it's just like, yo, with, with all this time before shows come back on, like, yo, I'm just in marathon mode. I'm, just, I'm trying to, I got this free time when I'm not trying to watch shows and digest all this stuff that I usually do. It's, yo, let's get this in. And I'm like, yo, I'm glad I got it in. But I just wanted, you know what I'm saying, to do a flip on a social experiment because, again, I want some time to sit up here and let the show digest to let how sad of a season, of a series finale, I should say, that season three left stuff and sitting up here and wondering, again, is the movie going to take the time to answer questions? Because, hell, there were a couple of little mini plot holes from the transition from season two to season three that the show didn't try to even do anything about. But when I said up here and thought about it in, in, um, in hindsight afterwards, the show did cover it, but just didn't say anything because you're left to infer stuff like that. I'm not going to say anything about characters, about plot points, about anything like that. You need to watch Veronica Mars. The beginning, the middle, and the end of the sentence. I don't need to sit up here and talk about every single character and how all these character trees work and how the plot of this and who did this when. No, just watch the damn show. Watch the show. It's a show that, yo, I give it the triple the G.O.D. stamp of approval because the show is that damn good. Show is that damn good. I, I can't really praise it any more than I already have because I think the best way to praise it is not to say anything about it because I don't want you to sit here listen to me and be like oh that's what happened no because see here's another part of this social experiment while I'm sharing it once I get done watching the movie and I come back and record my thoughts about the sh about the franchise in general after the movie I'm going to read those I'm going to read those books, and we're going to come back when we read those books. And then guess what I'm going to do after I've read all those books and, got, and, and fully caught up with the adventures of Veronica Mars. I'm going to watch the show again because everything is, a lot of things are really better on a rewatch. And I really think Veronica Mars is a show that's better on a rewatch because it is a crime drama. A, a noir, if you will. Because watching it with the answers, you will always see things from a whole different point of view. And I really think that the show was so damn good, I owe the show that. I owe, the, I owe myself as a newly minted fan of this series to see it from a whole different point of view with the answers. Knowing that this is what happened because you'll see it differently. You'll see it. And I'm like, and I know that I will, so I want to give myself that opportunity and that chance to take something that I have newly fallen in love with and really give it the opportunity to shine on the rewatch. Well, I watch it more than twice, I don't know. I have watched The Wire all the way through like three or four times, but that's The Wire, and that's a whole different conversation. But just had to say something about The Wire. But, you know, The Wire, that's a whole nother level of television, but anywho. But yeah, I just want to, you know, give another social experiment a try. And I, and I feel Veronica Mars is perfect for that. So I, I'm going to sit on this. I'm going to sit on the finale and sit on the, I don't know what's the word I want to use. The profound sadness of knowing that that was how the series ended and how fans had to hold that level of L for seven years before you got a chance to catch up with a character that you fell in love with and characters, I should say, and the world that people invested four years in. You're, you're mad, but still. But I'm like, yo, we're going to come back to this again. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I want to do more stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? I want to do more stuff. I want to diversify my bonds. Because I've been doing that this year ever since. You know, I've been doing more Trooper Guy Speaks on and doing all that. But I want to diversify what it is I speak about and how I speak about it. And how I can just do more things around it. Because, yo, give me two seconds to be honest. It's the reason, it's the reason I'm in the position I'm in now. 
When I first got started, I tried to be a one-trick pony. And by the time I learned that there's more than one trick to learn, and I learned two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tricks, there was no reason for it because things had changed so much at that point that it didn't matter. And the game where I was 10 steps behind, I'm now 20 steps back. It's strange, ain't it? And I know I say every year that we're going to play catch up, but I'm going to do what I can. And I'm not going to be focused on where other people are on the game board. I can only do me. Team GRF, we can only do us. And we can only do what we got to do. Because the one thing that I do understand, and I'm going to say this before I get out of here. The reason why I do what I do is way different than my contemporaries, and I know it. They 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 are they doing it for one reason and I'm doing it for a completely different other, and it shows in the work that they produce and that I produce. So it is what it is with that. So we will be back to talk about this in a little more depth after I've watched the movie, after I've had that additional piece of minutia to add to my enjoyment of a show that I have fallen in love with that I think that more people will fall in love with because yo it's a great character show it's a great crime drama it's like yo it would have been amazing to sit up here and have Veronica on TV for years and years and years and years and years just growing as a person growing as a character and having a world expand but we'll see what the, we'll see what the movie has to bring to the table so, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to turn this into a video. We'll be back to this Veronica Mars thing in a couple of days. I got a couple of more, a little mini bits of these, you know, like little versions of this about different stuff that I'm just going to catch up on because, again, I've been doing a lot of marathoning lately and I just finished another two shows recently that I really wanted to say something on, but I wanted to wait till the time was right. And the time is right now. So, just expect a little more of these sprinkled out through the rest of the month and, you know, as... I try to get stuff together. So, go watch Veronica Mars. Go do it. Go watch Veronica Mars, though. Triple the G.O.D. seal of approval. Show it that damn good. So, with that being said, I am, of course, the one and the only the triple the G.O.D. And, of course, I'd like to thank you for joining me for another installment of Triple the God Speaks Song. And with that, a long time ago, we used to be friends, but I haven't thought of you lately at all. <laughs> <laughs> now, where's that remix to season three? <laughs>